There's a van in the alleyway. Oh, God. A van? Aya, what are you trying? Forget about Aya. Hamster goes here. <coughs> they must have found out about... Oh, shit. Fuck. D? Oh. Shit. They're here, too. Okay, Layla, listen. I know you. And I know you'll find a way out of this. Picked up that blade I found. Good. Well, they're definitely planning to kill me. You've been living in the mind of a trained assassin for the past however many hours, remember? So get ready to rock, killer queen. I'm ready, American woman. They're using bows, not guns. Why? Guess they don't consider you much of a threat. <laughs> they're almost on me. Going dark. How's it going? Bad. to do this. It's them or me. Make sure Sophia Rickon hears it. My dream was to work on the Animus Project. I waited 12 years. Waiting got me nowhere. So I built an Animus that lets me access anyone's memories, even ancestors not my own. I even witnessed the origins of the Assassins. Artifacts, tombs that were supposed to be stuff of legends, I found them. By killing me, you've lost all this knowledge. I understand why you thought I had to die. But did you have to kill my best friend? What is she? Oh, Habibti, I should have listened to you. I should visit them. I've killed all these naked Yadet. Apollodorus must be told. To her.
I will return it later. That's the jam. There. I must be careful now. Stop you! Right there! Right there. This evil boy has profaned the gods. He's punished. Priest, what has the boy done to deserve this? This has nothing to do with you. Back away. The boy will get what he deserves. I serve so bad. I serve so bad. I am a slave. Boy, what are you accused of? I was charged with ferrying two gold sobeks to Crocodilopolis. Just out of port, my ship sank by the lighthouse. I almost drowned. The statues were lost. I didn't steal them. Silence! And you, step back, Sahedi! Wait. Do not threaten me, Neb. I am a Magi. If the boy speaks the truth, I will find your gold Sobex. If he lies, he is yours to deal with. I should check the big Octarim ship. Stealing from a god is the greatest of blasphemy. No punishment will do great for such a threat. Shipwreck. This could be it. Golden statue of Sobek. Beautifully made. Just as the boy said it would be.
cutting hey. me. Rip you to shreds. A golden statue of Sobek. It is beautiful. The boy tells the truth. I should return these gold sorbex to that odious priest. Devoured. Priest, I have your precious golden sorbex. Your novice spoke the truth. This useless boy has been constant trouble. Many more punishments await him for his carelessness. Your priest clothing is just a mask for cowardice. God, the gods are hate masks. This has nothing to do with you, Sahety. Crawl back into your desert hole. I am Medjai, you dishonorable dog. I have the authority here, Medjai. Guys! I could throw it out and save your head. Position get it. What do I do now? The temple will not accept me. Sobek has left the fate of this gold with you. You can return to the temple or to your family. The choice is yours. May Sobek be with you. Whatever you do, do it honorably. Egypt needs priests who do not wear masks. I see you bear the markings of old Siwa. Is that a real Medjai badge? How much would you sell it for? Siwa is my homeland, and it is not for sale. Everything is for sale here. You should visit Valley Market to the east. They have Siwan treasures, not the normal fake stuff. These are real. I would be interested to meet anyone selling genuine Siwan treasures. Are you sure you do not want to sell that badge? No matter. Look for this stall under the bird's nest. You will thank me.
to be genuine, but it's a fake, and not a very good one. It is not fake, it is real. Would you like? Shout. This is your store? Yes, mine. Many unique treasures from faraway Siwa. Not fake, not fake. Have you got anything real? I'm sure these are not your best pieces. What do you mean? These are real. Hmm. More expensive ones at my camp. I can take you. Not far from here. You follow. That Medjai badge. Not very good, you know. We have better ones. Would you like? I like this one. These are the treasures of yours. Oh. Are they fake as well? I told you. Not fake. Oh. How did you know? My treasures aren't really real. But not fake. My mother has some real ones anyway. Hey, I have a secret. I was once a Medjai in Siwa. I've seen the real treasures. Oh, not fair. I made them all myself, you know. No one else can tell. Do not worry. They are very good fakes. I will not tell anyone. I said not fake. Were you really Medjai? Maybe you are fake. Ah, hey, you're a very cheeky child. Now, let's see what your mother has. We go along the canal. You lead. I will fake it. Does not even make sense. Do not be afraid. Lucky for you, I am real. Stay here and keep hidden. I've got a nice sword. Would you like? Who in Hades are you? As I told them, I do not have any money, but I have many unique treasures from Siwa. Mother, he is not a bandit. He is my friend. Thanks for saving us. I guess you are real. Sorry I said you were fake. He saved us? We have to give him something. We always repay kindness, remember? I've got something. Here. This is a genuine imitation Siwan Kopish. It is very rare. They don't make them anymore. Please. Take it with our gratitude. Mother, he already knows. Thank you. I'm honored. Yes, I can tell. This one's really real. There are almost none like it. May you multiply happy years.
Burning corpses. This is blast. Hey, why are you burning the dead? Don't you fear the gods? Their souls will be forever cursed. I'm sorry to do it, but I have no choice in this. The gods themselves have afflicted us with a pestilence. The dead must be burned to save the living. What pestilence? Is there a plague? Truly, I don't know. Elders have begun falling sick. Children have died clutching their bellies in agony as their parents watch on. Lifeless in their beds. This would be cruel. Even for the angriest of gods. No one cares about us. Any help would be appreciated. In the Fayum, the poor aren't worth spit. <laughs> My children, your hunger is known. Turn to Mother, Sobek for your nourishment. family will now lose their land. They used there to eat no at the arms kitchen in the market. The but soldiers began harassing them. Greek merchants said they were bad for business. These yes. bowls are filthy. What have the villagers been eating? We must have the food stored somewhere. We should have a look around. Food is rancid. It smells like shit. It's completely unfit for eating. This gruel is not fit for rats, let alone people. The strong spices are not for taste. They are disguising the rot. I need to talk with whoever made it. Sobek has provided a way. Though the food is humble, it gives life. Eat with thanksgiving and trust in He. Tell me about the food you eat. Where does it come from? A merchant makes it for the poor here. It's not much, but at least it's something. We're thankful. You're welcome to try some. By the gods, no. I do not know how you stomach it. I need to talk to the merchant. Where can I find him? His house is to the south of the town market. I can take you. Let's visit this merchant of yours. I will follow you. May Sobek reward you for helping. I've passed many prosperous farms. People here seem to be doing well. Why are there so many poor? Ah, uh, yes. Those are Greek farms. The Greeks pay lower taxes, so they prosper. Meanwhile, the Egyptian farmers are slowly forced from their lands. What happens to the land when the farmers leave? Once the owners die, by law the land is freed. If it's good land, the Greeks take it. If not, the desert takes it. Either way, Egyptians are left to starve. Many end up in the slums. This is the home of the merchant who provides the food. 
Even the cats here look better fed than the poor. The owner is obviously of substance. Not all Egyptians seem to be equal. Some are just more equal than others. This is awful! No wonder people are falling sick. Who would do this? It is time we met this poisonous merchant. Give him a taste of his own cooking. How may I help you? This is my home. Are you lost? You can explain to me why you have been poisoning the poor. My guess is so you can take their land. It is easier if they are dead. You're referring to the trouble in the slums? Whatever you've heard, I assure you, you misunderstand. I do what I can to help. I have seen your kitchen merchant. I know what you are doing. And I will see that you are brought to justice. Oh, I see. Well, that changes things. Now, you're trespassing, and I have the right to protect myself. Men! If you were reasonable, I wouldn't have to do this. We could have worked this out. so much about them. No one will miss them. We can talk about this. I'm wealthy. I can... This merchant of death was murdering the poor for their land. His love of money was their real sickness. Fayum won't miss him. The dead can rest. There will be no more Bani.
So Peck eats with his mouth. I thought the sacred crocodiles of Crocodilopolis were tame. I do not know what happened. Petsuchos has never attacked anyone before. His eyes turned red. Did you see? Is Sobek displeased with us? Nick. Even the gods turn their backs on the people. Where is Petsuchos now? Our priest Setep took the god back to the pool inside the temple. I have never seen him like this. Something about this is not right. I should take a look at the crocodile's enclosure. No sign of the priest. Sutros looks agitated. I should try to stay unnoticed. A carcass. It has been chewed, not eaten. Someone was injured in the enclosure. They went up the staircase. Foul smelling liquid. Ah, the stench burns my eyes. Ah, Nick. Guided priest robe, and it is covered in blood. Whoever was wearing this was badly injured. The blood trail leads outside. This 
was the man who poisoned the crocodiles. He was taking orders from Melina, the hibiscus. Pretty name for a killer. She's at the Neorian naval arsenal to the south. Who dares touch a god of Egypt? I will hunt down this blasphemer. Even Greece has come to our city to enjoy his protection. Let us honor the gods with offerings freely and generously given. Wait a second. Hibiscus flower. You stop. <laughs> you there, they will attack on sight here. Your time has come. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
poisonous little woman. Talented, but twisted. Sehetep. He was the priest at the temple. Gods. What is it with priests and money? The poison was just for sure. At least the temple crocodiles are not going to die. I should tell the guardian. Guardian of Sobek, the sickness was not an omen from the gods. Your crocodiles were poisoned, but they will recover. Poisoned? Are you sure? By whom? They will pay with their lives! Your own priest Sehetep was responsible. He's trying to increase offerings from your followers. What? Sehetep is Sobek's right hand. He will never do this. What you are saying is blasphemy. Ah, you priests. Forever holding to your superstitions. You have been told the truth. The gods themselves will judge what you do with it. 